Hello everyone, I am Blackstone Movies and in today's tutorial we are going to build what I think is one of the best brewing stands I ever saw on YouTube because it can brew all of your potions just by one click of a button you won't even need a um, list of ingredients because everything will be processed automatically into your potion you want so I must warn you though if you're going to rebuild this in survival then you'll be uh, you will have to have a lot of resources at your disposal like redstone and torches and also building blocks like cobble and wood are very necessary so to speak so um, yeah if you have if you think you have enough materials i don't exactly know but i'll uh, put some I'll put the uh, exact list of items in the description after this video because I can just look at the stats after this. We'll start building. Um, in my test world setup I didn't make a segment f to make poison potions but now we'll do so because now you will be able with this setup you'll be able to be to brew every single potion in the game. So let's get started by placing eight pillars like that out of any building block you want. I'm going to use quartz because it just gives a nice contrast uh, with the redstone. So that's already seven and eight, is that right? Yes. So now just go ahead and place buttons on every side of these, um, of these pillars. Go around the back and place torches on these pillars on that side, like that. Now go ahead and place signs with uh, bearing which potion you're going to brew using a button. So uh, I'll just write them down now and I'll meet you back in a second. Alright, I have been writing down the signs and as you can see, please copy me in exact order like that. So the first um, pillar is going to be our health, uh, instant health potion dispenser, swiftness for the next pillar regeneration potion for next then potion of poison then potion of water breathing then potion of fire resistance then a potion of night vision and then a potion of strength and as you can see as well I have been making all the layers so you can just copy them these are droppers facing into a comparator into a block and redstone torches and I have also put all the ingredient names onto the droppers as you can see so we have glycerin melon first then sugar then cast tear spider eye perfect fish magma cream and golden carrot so copy it in the exact order so as to not to um, fail with the ingredient order and you'll get the wrong potions otherwise so we'll build the last layer together like that just place a redstone dust like that building block redstone torch facing into a redstone line facing into the dropper facing upwards and just place a sign on here um, saying place powder because that's going to be our potion of strength and place a redstone comparator right there building block and redstone torch like that so also place a redstone torch on here i forgot so that's that already done let's move on to the next step all right now that you've placed all your droppers in the correct order and write down the ingredients on the signs we can start placing down blocks like that on top of the torches like so just create a line running all the way through through i mean and um, over here just make the line go down a little bit like that so right there and over here between these two lines you want to get your redstone repeater and place it right there because that is going to prevent the signal going uh, towards that way when you press this help button because this line is also going to be our duration um, dispenser so uh, our redstone dispenser and because health cannot be obtained with duration you'll not be able to get that because that's the wrong order i hope that made any sense at all <laughs> so over here just already place a torch and building block redstone dust 
and torch again so you create an end port like that this torch will be powered by a lever later on so you can set the duration on or off like so now you want to get another dropper this is going to be our nether wart dropper nether wart like that you want to have your redstone running into it and as like there right there you want to have an alarm system like so so when the ingredients run out the torch will light up like that and they will power an alarm cycle over there now let's move on to the next step now we're going to add the modifiers so go over at to this side with the strength potion indicating it and go ahead and place a dropper right here place a sign because this is our redstone dispenser dropper and place a dropper over here a dropper over here and one over here as well now just take your size again play uh, spider eye is going to be in this dropper gunpowder on this in this one and glowstone dust in this one to increase the potency of our potions now you want to get uh, a hopper and have a line run all the way towards here and we will have it go down somewhere over here like that just take your hoppers shift click and place them all the way down I know it's pretty uh, much the hopper amount but um, it's necessary for this setup so just place all the hoppers like that running towards um, each other hopper like that so now we can start moving in our brewing stand I made a little mistake at the hopper chain over here you have to put a, put a hopper li like that one, one space more in like so so now go ahead and take your brewing stand where is it here we won't need the button and place it down there hopper underneath take your chest um, like that all right let's make it so we can see it from this side all right so with this out of the way you can already add a hopper to this side of your brewing stand and this hopper will drag your water bottles into your brewing stand and this uh, hopper chain will um, allow the ingredients for your potions to begin brewing and over here you can just add multiple chests if you want to to have uh, a full stock of water bottles at your disposal at any moment I'm just going to make it this high that's high enough for demonstrational purposes and now we are going to wire this um, hopper into a redstone comparator like that place a block over here redstone torch redstone dust like that go down a little bit place down a torch and redstone dust dig out a small area like that place any building block you want again mine is quartz and place down your hoppers facing into each other like so place a torch on top of this hopper and put 50 items of your choice in there like that now just get out your comparator place it over here dig out this area and kick out these blocks over here and make a redstone line and drag it over to this side this will later be our uh, musical indicator whether our potions are brewing or not so let's now let's move on to this side where we are going to build our potion blocking system like that um, you will have to put um, a torch over here 
and go ahead place a block over here as well place redstone dust on top redstone repeater like that and take your redstone again place down a torch over here so it is powered and this um, has to be inverted but we'll do that later on I've modified this piece a little bit as you can see just copy it and go ahead and place a redstone torch underneath this redstone torch so your uh, this hopper over here will, uh, will lock and your potions will not be able to drain out of this hopper anymore and your water bottles will be able to flow freely through this hopper like that now we're going to make uh, place another row of redstone torches on top like that and place blocks like that boom 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 like that and now just throw in redstone torches on this side but only because this is going to be our inv inverted potion um, indicators so health can be inverted to potion of harming swiftness can be inverted to potion of slowness um, regeneration uh, we, we will not invert that because it has the same effect poison we can't invert that as well water uh, not and fire we're going we're not going to invert fire night vision can be inverted into invisibility and strength in weakness like that now the upper row is going to be our glowstone row which will increase the potency health can of course be um, potency increased so to speak swiftness as well um, region as well poison can be um, potence can have increased potency as well water doesn't have the capability fire neither and night vision doesn't have that either and strength um, has potency strength too yeah all right you can knock out these two torches because as you can see they are connected to the line now we're going to move further up and you're going to place blocks like that and blocks over here but over here we are going to use half slab so you have a uh, greater room so you can use whatever half slabs you want in combination of stairs maybe like i did in the demonstration setup so let's try how this will work out just place it on top of the torches like that and go all the way now just take your slabs and place them over here this will give the room a little bit more of a roomy feeling because if it's only two blocks high you will feel very enclosed so this should do the trick for now now you just simply want to drag this redstone line further don't forget to add a repeater sometimes because otherwise the signal will run out and place another slab over here facing into a block into a torch this is going to be our inverter line and we'll also have a lever over here to operate that and um, now let's move on to the back because over here we haven't made the uh, indicators which will um, connect to the alarm later on which will tell us if there is a potion ingredient missing like that that should do the trick now just get down here and place blocks like that now you don't want to place your redstone torches on top of that because that's going to be connected to that as i said earlier to the alarm system and now you want to go two blocks out like that and take two levers like so place them on top of here this is going to be your um, potency duration lever um, so now you want to place two torches over here and like that 
like that this is going to be your uh, inverter lever and it's going to twist like that and like that you want to place some blocks over here to connect to this side place redstone dust on top like so now check if this light lit up yeah it is so that's good um, go ahead and place a block over here and a repeater set it on 4 ticks like that and now run it into this um, uh, dropper over here like that place a torch on top of that block place two redstone dust over here block over here and redstone dust on top like that 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 and go down a little bit oh no you just place a torch and that's that not really done because we need to invert it once more otherwise this will stay on and that can cause problems to the um, hoppers it's my bad I just made a silly mistake over here with the wiring just place a block like that and now as you can see this torch over here is off and that's what we want now just go around the back again this uh, your potency and duration lever the, the one on the right uh, left I mean and jump up like that as you can see you have already two torches three and now move up four and five over here this is your uh, duration line just take blocks like that and place them towards your hopper and as as you can see if you test it it works um, you can hear the uh, dropper clicking sound so we're getting there we're getting there as you can see now um, just go ahead and place some blocks over here because now we want to make sure we um, also turn on the potency line so just place some redstone dust like that place a repeater um, or not here actually that's right on the torch place it here yeah and drag your line towards uh, this way and just make your end port over here now just place redstone dust over here redstone torch over there take your oops take a block over here drag it towards there no just place a torch on there like that redstone dust take two half slabs like so place a repeater set it to no just leave it on the first stick and drag your uh, building blocks all the way towards this outline of these blocks is that right yeah just add a redstone torch over here drag your redstone line all the way to there add two blocks down here you can knock out that one place redstone torch over here so just to let it face into this glowstone dispenser over here glowstone dropper I meant and just go upwards a little bit like that and as you can see now it isn't lit so the hopper will have no problem tunneling the items through so now we have both our duration chain and our potency chain done now we only need to fix our gunpowder dispenser for splash potions and yeah that's it basically now we're going to make the gunpowder chain so go ahead around uh, uh, around here place two blocks like that and two like so 
so you have this little shape over here and that's already gr great to conceal your setup over here so everything looks a little bit nicer now just place a lever over here a redstone torch over there on top place redstone dust place half slabs over here because otherwise it will power your um, hoppers and that's not what you want just drag your redstone line towards here and now we just want to drag this all the way up over there but you first need to insert an end port over here which we do using the lever now go ahead and place a redstone dust over here and whoops a redstone torch on top of that block redstone over there and I think we made a little mistake here I have to check it in my test world which I have opened to make this tutorial because of course it would be madness if I knew all this uh, out of my head so uh, yeah I'll check it yeah you have to knock out these blocks over here and place a slab over there facing into this torch over here now just pl uh, take a redstone torch like that place a slab on top of your uh, hopper and this is not going to work because I have to knock out the whole block yeah like that and place it like so now just go around the back nine blocks three four five six seven eight nine and place redstone on top of that now go ahead and place a block over here with redstone torch and you can knock these blocks out if you want to place three um, redstone repeaters like that all right now just drag it towards your um, your line over here knock out these blocks because your redstone torch is going to be over here this is your gunpowder dropper drag it like that and take your blocks a little bit further all right at the back side of your setup you want to place a torch over here like that place redstone on top take a block place it like that and um, just make your redstone line run into this torch and so the default this line should be on and your redstone torch over here should be off and that's right so now let's create the alarm signal um, alarm line I should say just drag out this whole line of blocks like that but it, it is not this isn't necessary uh, but um, it's a nice feature to have and if you are already making this design it's pretty cool to have that now just uh, place a repeater on a regular basis every uh, 14 blocks of oh, redstone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Let's place that here to be absolutely sure. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Let's place that over here. And we should be good. Alright, now we've come to this part which isn't really necessary but it's nice to have a little alarm over here and just take two redstone dust like that again place a redstone compactor make the torch face upwards and light up place uh, dust like that redstone repeater set it on four ticks and place that like that so it will give a blinking effect now go ahead and replace this block with a block and redstone take your node block and 
knock out this space because otherwise it will not give the exact uh, piano tone just give it some ticks so it sounds a little bit alarmy <laughs> and set it to three ticks this repeater and add another that sounds about right <laughs> and over here just place redstone and a repeater over here now we're going to shut this thing off <laughs> and place a comparator over here redstone torch over here and this is going to be our bottle indicator light and over here we also want to uh, dr drag a line over at our blinking light which we're going to build over here now we're going to make the indicator light for our um, for our potion uh, no for our potion ingredients if they are out of stock so just make something like that take a redstone lamp place it over here take a redstone torch place it down there and take some redstone dust but this is going to be our passageway so you have to take it a little bit like that take it out a little bit like so set this repeater on 4 ticks take your redstone dust again 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 yeah that should do the trick we can test it as you can see the lamp blinks right now but we can move it a little bit further because I think it's a little bit um, too close to our passageway we are going to build next and as you can see all of these um, lines are on so even if you put something in here the alarm will still stay on only if all the ingredients are inside their droppers the system alarm will turn off now we're going to make a little tune which will play whenever our potions are ready so go back to your line you created earlier over here knock out some blocks over here and make sure you hit the sunlight again yeah that's great now just take your redstone dust like that drag it over here let's take it to this point place a node block and place a redstone repeater on two ticks like so place another node block a little bit higher and another repeater set on three ticks as well and another node block let's test that real quick that sounds great <laughs> all right now let's just take a block over here and a block over there place redstone torch and another redstone torch on top place blocks like that running all the way over here where you're going to have another redstone lamp let's go down a little bit and place redstone dust on top and drag it like that as you can see now we don't have any bottles in there so uh, we have to refill it and then the uh, the item hopper will uh, emit the signal towards this redstone torch tower and our light will turn on simple as that now we're going to make our last indicator over here just go down and at the timer over here 
just place a redstone torch on this block over here and place a block there two redstone dust go over to the other side and as you can see here is your redstone dust so just place some um, a redstone lamp take glass and let's place that there and sandstone and that looks all great now we can knock out this block over here and we can create a little passageway towards our potion retrieving system which you are going to build now as well so go down here to your um, redstone torch over there as you can see now go towards this point um, let's move this node block a little bit further away it's a little bit in the way over here so let's do that now oops like that and the node block where is it yet yeah, there all right now let's go back to the front again we will be able to conceal this from our view and over here we want to place a wooden pressure plate and we are going to drag some redstone and we are going to place a building block here and redstone torch on top like that so the default is um, the this this hopper over here is locked as you can see and this one will tunnel its items into this um, uh, brewing stand <laughs> and uh, yeah that's basically it so when we press uh, step on this pressure plate this torch will uh, turn off so the items can tunnel through it and that uh, hopper will be locked for a short time and when we go off the pressure plate again it will reset so uh, now just make a little passageway to your collection area like that uh, you can make it of course more pretty and whatever you want to build here just going to conceal it a little bit so you can see all the redstone and, and stuff and um, yeah let's hide the hopper as well all right mm, that's not what i was trying to do oh yeah if you want to make sure it looks better you have to make it a little bit lower so let's do that real quick let's move this down a little bit and like that place your torch over there that should do the trick now you can't see the hopper anymore or not that much and um, yeah that's basically it now we are going just to uh, fill in all the droppers and test if it works all right I've been filling all the ingredients as you can see whoops and that goes on for a long time whoops whoops and over there everything is filled correctly and I forgot to forgot to mention this you uh, um, um, earlier on in this tutorial I wrote spider eye on this sign but that must be fermented spider eye of course because we have already gotten um, spider eye over here and over here as well I didn't put a block on top of this torch so let's do that now um, yeah and as you can see now it will light up and this torch will go off and yeah only when it's on that's when it's in this position gunpowder will be dispensed as well um, is that right no when it's upwards um, it's on and when it's downwards it's uh, off because this torch will turn off as well and this torch will turn on and your gunpowder will be dispensed so let's already write a sign over here which says that 
um, like that and yeah now it's on so let's already try it um, let's check over here these are our inverter by now it should be turned off no now it's uh, yeah now it's off so that's off invert motion lever is this one and on is that position because when you turn it um, off on or off this torch will go off and when this torch over there goes off as well when you press the button this signal will turn off as well and torches will light up and everything happens at the same time <laughs> over here this is our uh, our duration and potency lever by now the potency is turned on and the duration is turned off because so let's do this potency and duration down here oops duration all right so it should all work in theory so uh, now we're just going to get some bottles all right let's fill them all in whoops i had to spread them out whoa, whoa, whoa. i hope everything will still work but as you can see the, post the bottles have already been dispensed correctly and let's do that again let's fill up this whole chest like that and this one as well but that should be enough for demonstrational purposes so uh, now let's try it I haven't tried this so uh, let's hope it works that means I have done the tutorial uh, good <laughs> so we'll make a string 2 potion let's just press it and yeah the tune plays and this light turns off which is yeah it turns on that's what I wanted to see because now it means that the potion is brewing so let's take a look here and as you can see everything is di dispensed correctly we have all also want to make a splash potion and also want to invert the potion is that right did we want to invert the potion no it's yeah indeed let's turn it off and let's take a look at how everything goes Alright, as you heard, the tune played and everything is now done. Splash potion, splash potion of weakness. Yeah, that's all great. And the potency is gone because you can't make splash potion of weakness uh, too, I guess. Um, yeah. So now I'll make the size a little bit more clear because as you have maybe seen in my test world everything was uh, indicated so let's do that right now all right i have written down all the signs um, over here we can also write the blast potion so i will do that next uh, because i'm not that great at typing on camera so over here we have our potion of health or harming if we invert it the p stands for pot uh, potency and the i stands for um, invert inversion possible so we have all these letters and they all indicate if something is possible or not for example water breathing can only be have increased duration so you have to flick the lever to duration otherwise it won't do anything if it has potency so it would be the best if you use duration of course and potion of fire resistance the same potion of night vision or invisibility that's uh, duration is possible or invisibility you can create invisibility potions by adding uh, by setting this inferred potion to on 
because always uh, the second option on a potion if there is one is when you invert it so like that uh, for example potion of strength uh, or weakness that's inversion possible as well because if you invert it it will turn into weakness but you can still keep the duration for weakness but weakness cannot have increased potency while potion of strength uh, can have increased potency so keep that in mind you have to have a little uh, understanding of potions and how they work but that's basically it everything should be as clear as possible on these signs I hope and you can just experiment by pressing the different levers and let's make one more non-splashy potion we'll make a potion of regeneration we'll make the duration we'll make it a duration potion and we want to invert it um, potion of regeneration all right and I forgot to mention you first have to take out your other potions by standing on the pressure plate and now it should have refilled the other potions and as you can see it's brewing and nothing is inside this item hopper and everything is going steady by now all the potions are brewed and um, this light has gone off so that's another great indicator because if you're afking while your potions are brewing you can just stand over here and if even if you didn't hear the sound of the note blocks you will when you log back on or sit back on your computer or whatever you'll see that the redstone lab has turned off and that it means that it is safe to go down here step on the pressure plates and gr grab your potions of regeneration and extended duration exactly as we wanted so um, yeah I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did please consider la leaving a like or maybe subscribing I am Black Stone Movies and I'll meet you guys again next time and I, I really hope you like this I put a lot of effort into uh, editing this tutorial and everything and building this machine and coming to this design so yeah bye guys how is this thing supposed to work well it's just a massive box of redstone wiring and hoppers and droppers as you can see and it all works together to get you some fr uh, potions so let's take a little look at how everything works I will just go in theory and after that I will do a quick test to let you see uh, the how to brew the potions so over here you have your selection panel you can select potions of fire resistance for example water breathing regeneration swiftness or slowness if you invert it so the letters like the P the D and the I mean the P stands for potency, the D for duration, and the I um, stands for inversion. So let's take a look over here. And you can increase the potency using this lever flicked over to this position, or you can flick to duration using the lever as well, like that. And now it's set to duration. Over here, you can invert the potion. You can set it to the on posi position or the off position like that and over here you can select your um, if you want to convert to splash potions or not but I see that this is broken or no it isn't so over here you can also select whether you want to convert it to splash potions or not and um, so yeah the D the P and the I uh, indicates whether it can be uh, increased duration, increased potency or inverted and when it has only a D, for example a fire resistance, it can only have increased duration so the system will detect that if you do uh, fire resistance and duration but you have set this lever to potency, it won't do anything uh, also if you try to invert it, it won't do anything and you won't lose spider eye in your hoppers so that's another protection system over here we have our indicator lights so this light um, when it's on the there are some water bottles in stock and when it's off it's obviously 
not stocked anymore and you have to restock your water, bo water bottles and when this light below my feet here is on that means that your potions are brewing and when it's off you can take your potions out by going into the collection area standing on these pressure plates and your um, potions will go into this chest so uh, when this light blinks as you can see you have to restock the potion ingredients so now let's do a quick test i want to do everything i want to convert to splash potion and i want to um, have increased potency because i'm gonna make a strength potion and i'm also going to invert it so that makes it a weakness potion i said it on the second line over here now let's just push the button like that and now our potion should be brewing as you heard the sound plate and that means when we go back in our to our setup over here you can see the water bottles are al already brewing up and in here are the ingredients for our potion we wanted so increased potency splash and inverted and now let's just wait for it a little bit and while that's brewing up over there i will explain how the alarm system over here works so basically whenever an item um, runs out this um, comparator will turn off and that means that this redstone torch will no longer be powered and thus turn on again and that signal will be received from this redstone line over here and this repeater will send the redstone line towards there and the signal will lock this hopper so whenever you run out of ingredients you will have to go to your maintenance area which is over here and just open up this um, hopper and take out your items so no invalid uh, potions will be brewed because of this protection system which locks this hopper so you don't get mundane potions or something useless like that this um, repeater runs into this alarm over here and it also has a signal running over towards this place where we have our um, our little light which will start to blink and as you can see our potions our potions are still brewing and now they're ready and the you heard the song play and this lamp has turned off again so even if you're afking while your potions are brewing you'll still be able when you turn back on your computer you'll still see that this light is off so even if you didn't hear the tune you will know that your potions are ready to get and now just stand on the pressure plate open the chest and here are your splash potions of weakness and that's exactly what we wanted and of course um, this was not a very good example because it didn't really apply the potency to it when you invert it so you have to keep that in mind when it's not inverted you're ha you'll, you will keep your potency and the other little flaw with this machine is that when um, you have only one ingredient in here let's take for example uh, only one melon in there like that and as you can hear the alarm start playing because I had no items in there for a second so when I want to make a health potion so I turn back over there it will um, push out that item of the dropper and by that time the comparator will no, no longer be lighted because the melon has jumped out in the hopper and this signal will turn on and the alarm as well so this hopper will be locked so when you have only one ingredient you try to brew that potion with that ingredient uh, you'll not be able to do it but you can of course do it manually um, and wait when you have a little bit more ingredients so it's not that kind of a hassle but yeah it's a little flaw I couldn't remove of this machine but other than that I think it's pretty good I uh, made it for survival purposes mainly because this machine isn't able to brew um, infinitely uh, and only stop when it has run out of resources but um, yeah this is just uh, for survival purposes and the great thing about this you don't have to remember the exact um, 
ex exact uh, what do you call it ingredients for your potions because they are all listed just press the button and say if you want it inverted or increased potency or duration or splash potion and then just press the button you don't even have to remember the ingredients and everything will be done for you so um, yeah i hope you guys uh, had a little bit uh, uh, i don't even know how to say it anymore i hope you liked my explanation i hope it was a little bit clear i want to say I uh, did my best explaining this, but yeah, I'm not a native English speaker.